Let's ask a question from random post. At itong post na ito ay galing sa yung sa mga module. So, hindi na lang natin i-mention kung kanino, kung kaninong post ito. Identify the next three terms of the following geometric sequence. Gano nga ba ka-importanting malaman natin itong geometric sequence? Para sa magtitake ng civil service exam or any math exam, hindi nawawala or laging merong tinatawag na number series. Number series. Itong series at saka sequence, na-explain ko na ito sa previous na video na ang sequence is an ordered list of numbers while yung series is the sum of list of numbers. Pero, ganun din, may pattern. At itong geometric sequence ay isa lang sa mga patterns para masagutan natin ang number series. Now, what is geometric sequence? Ito yung mga list of numbers na may common ratio. Bali, i-multiply mo or i-divide yung first number sa kasunod ay same lang yung sagot or same lang yung number na i-multiply mo or i-divide para makuha yung next term. Now, let's do number 1. I-divide natin si 5 sa 1. 5 divided by 1 is equals to 5. 25 divided by 5 is equals to 5. Therefore, ang common ratio nito ay 5. Bali, nag-multiply tayo ng 5 dito sa 1 times 5, that is equals to 5. Now, nag-multiply tayo ng 5 dito sa 5 times 5, that is equals to 25. Next, 25 times 5, and that is equals to 125. Ito yung next term. Ang hinanap nito ay next three terms. Now, i-multiply natin si 125 by 5, and that is equals to, that is 625. Now, 625 times 5, yan ang next na term natin, and that is 25, 1, 3,125. So, ito na yung sagot, 125, 625, and 3,125. Common ratio, 5. Next, 8 divided by 2, that is 4. 32 divided by 8, that is 4. Therefore, itong 2, nag-multiply tayo ng 4 para maging 8. 8 times 4 is equals to 32. 32 times 4, that is equals to, uh, this is 8, 128. 128 times 4, that is equals to 512. 512 times 4, that is, this is 48, 2048. Next three terms of 2832 is 128, 512, and 2048. Common ratio, 4. Number 3. Negative 6 divided by 2, and that is equals to negative 3. 18 divided by negative 6, that is equals to negative 3. Therefore, nag-multiply tayo ng negative 3 sa 2 para maging 6. Negative 6 times negative 3 is equals to 18. Now, 18 times negative 3, that is equals to negative 54. Now, negative 54 times negative 3, and that is equals to positive 162. Now, 162 times negative 3, that is equals to, that is 6, 8, 
four negative four hundred eighty six. Next three terms negative fifty four, positive one hundred sixty two, and negative four hundred eighty six. Common ratio negative three. Next number four. Negative 2 divided by negative 8, and that is equals to 1 fourth. Or balik tarin natin. Negative 8 divided by 4, divided by 4, and that is equals to negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 4, and that is equals to negative 1 half. Therefore, 1 half divided by 4 and that is equals to negative 1 8 1 8 divided by 4 and that is equals to negative 1 over 32 1 over 32 negative 1 over 32 divided by 4 and that is equals to negative 1 over 128 at para mas lalong maintindihan kung bakit ang next term dito ay negative 1 8, negative 1 over 32, at negative 1 over 128. Tapos ang ginawa natin ay nag-divide tayo ng 4, pero ang common ratio dito ay 1 fourth. Dito natin ipaliwanag kasi may space lang. Okay, ang ginawa natin kanina ay nag-divide tayo ng 4. Nag-divide tayo ng 4, tapos nag-divide ulit tayo ng 4 para makuha yung next. Ngayon, isa-isahin natin. Ignore mo na natin yung negative. Anyway, negative naman lahat yan. So, 1 half divided by 4. Huwag niyong kalimutan kung paano mag-divide ng fraction. 1 half fraction yan siya. Kopyahin si 1 half. Ang division maging multiplication. Reciprocal ni 4, ang lahat ng mga whole numbers ay meron niyang automatic na 1 as denominator. Ang reciprocal niya ay 1 over 4. Now, numerator to numerator and that is 1. Denominator to denominator and that is 8. So, ang next dito ay negative 1 over 8. Next, nag-divide ulit tayo ng 4. Now, kung mag-divide tayo ng 4 dito sa 1, 8... This is 1 8 divided by 4. So, 1 8 kopyahin. Ang 1 fourth again reciprocal. So, numerator to numerator, that is equals to 1. 8 times 4, and that is equals to 32. Kaya ang sagot dito ay negative 1 over 32. Ma'am, bakit negative? Negative naman talaga lahat yan. Minumultiply natin ng positive 4. So, negative 1 8 divided by 4 is equals to negative 1 over 32. At ganun din ang mangyayari kung i-divide natin si 1 over 32 ng 4 and that is equals to negative 1 over 128. So ito yung next three terms. Negative 1 8, negative 1 over 32, negative 1 over 128. Ngayon, kung estudyante ka na yung lesson mo is about geometric sequence at pinasagot ka at yung solution mo dapat nasa geometric sequence at hinahanapan ka ng ratio, dapat ang ratio natin dito ay, kasi ganito yan, negative 2 divided by negative 8. I-divide natin sa previous para makuha natin yung ratio. So now, negative 2 divided by negative 8 and that is equals to one fourth. Ibig sabihin, negative eight times one fourth that is equals to negative two. Negative eight times one fourth that is equals to negative two. Now, negative two times one fourth, negative two times one fourth that is equals to negative one half. Negative one half times one fourth that is equals to negative one eight negative one eight times one fourth that is equals to negative one over thirty two 
negative 1 over 32 times 1 fourth that is equals to negative 128. Itong 1 fourth, yan yung common ratio. Number 5. Again, ang pagkuha ng common ratio ay ito ay i-divide lang natin sa previous. Any number sa term, i-divide mo lang sa previous term. Yan na yung ratio. Like, a sub 2 divided by A sub 1 is equals to ratio. So, ngayon, itong 4, square root of 6, divided by 2, and that is equals to, this is 2. So, 2 square root of 6. Bali, nag-multiply tayo ng 2 square root of 6 dito sa 2 para maging 4 square root of 6. Now, 4 square root of 6 times 2 square root of 6, and that is equals to 48. Paano nangyari yan, ma'am? Saisahin natin. 4 square root of 6 times 2 square root of 6. 4 times 2, that is equals to 8. Square root of 6 times square root of 6. And that is equals to square root of 36. Now, square root of 36 is equals to 6. Itong 6 na to, i-multiply mo sa 8. And that is equals to 48. Obserbahan nyo ha. Itong square root of 6 times square root of 6 is equals to square root of 36. Now, square root of 36 is equals to 6. Shortcut. Square root of 6 times square root of 6 is equals to 6. Kunin mo lang, i-cancel mo lang yung square root sign. Ngayon, dito na tayo sa 48 na i-multiply natin ng 2 square root of 6. Now, 48 times 2 is square root of 6. And that is equals to, this is 16, 96. 96 is square root of 6. Now, 96 square root of 6 times 2 square root of 6, and that is equals to 96 times 2 is equals to, wait, 96 times 2, that is equals to 192. Tapos, yung square root 6 times square root of 6, and that is equals to 6. So, 192 times 6, and this is equals to, this is, 12 carry 1, 54, 55 carry 1, that is 5, 11, 1,000, wait, 1,152. Now, 1,152 times 2 square root of 6. So, automatic mayroon na yung square root of 6. 1,152 times 2, and this is equals to 4,023. Bali, 2,304 square root of 6. Ulitin ko lang pagsulat. 2,304 square root of 6. Next, three terms. 96 square root of 6, 1,152, and 2,304 square root of 6. Common ratio. 2 square root of 6. Thank you for watching at abangan yung mga future videos natin.